some people are worried about what DOCSIS 4.0 should be. And my answer to that is there shouldn't be a DOCSIS 4.0. One of the things that cable operators have found in trying to transition from DOCSIS 1.0 to 1.1, and then from 1.1 to 2.0, and finally from 2.0 to the huge standard that's DOCSIS 3.0, is that it's always very difficult and takes a long time to do. What we really need to do is to have independent features that are added to the DOCSIS standard rather than trying to group everything together in one big fell swoop. And that's one of the things that I've tried to do in the DOCSIS standards committee is by defining how do we handle so-called hybrid cable modems, how do we negotiate capabilities of the CMTS and CM so that we can have individu individual features. An example would be the baseline privacy standard. That wasn't associated, BPI Plus wasn't associated with any particular DOCSIS version. And yet it's clear that you either support BPI Plus or you don't. And so that's how we should move forward with uh, the standard. Not having a big step, but make it so that we're compatible and we can make smaller steps. It's a feature that I call future compatibility. Everyone tries to be compatible with the past, but what we need to do is design the standard so that we're compatible today with whatever we think of in the future. Now in reality what it means is that we need to think about what are the constraints on how do we add things in the future. And we've done that to a large extent in DOCSIS 3.0 by making it programmable what kind of encryption algorithms that you have or, or what the authentication algorithms are. We try to understand how are we going to add features to DOCSIS in the future. So I'm really hoping that DOCSIS 3.0 is the last numbered DOCSIS version and that what we add after this is incremental features.